see the uh, Red Wings Arena chant for you last night? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, that was last night. Uh, by a few people, and um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty fun to be a part of a city that uh, cares so much. This is me. You weren't there, were you? I was not there. <laughs> Does it get surreal at some point? I mean, just it's the way it's kind of spreading. Did you experience something similar when, when you were making your runs in LA? Not like this. No, this is uh, a little different. Um, Obviously, the circumstances of it all kind of feeds into that. But, uh, yeah, these fans are unbelievable. Um, expect to see a lot of them this weekend as well. It'll be fun. How was the week of practice? It's good. It's really good. I know we ask you this all the time when, when a new guy gets here. But, um, you know, another one in, in Zach Eric, It's a little bit different with just the wealth of experience he has. But, I mean, how quickly are you able to, to yeah. kind of find some chemistry in those situations? Yeah, he's picked it up extremely fast. He really has. And, um, really impressive. Not, not that you didn't expect that from a guy like him who's been around for so long. And, um, you know, I've, I've known him, you know, here and there throughout the years and just hearing about how smart he is and how well he can pick up things. He's done it really well this week. And, um, yeah, it's been good. Dan's talked about this before with just some of the, the veteran defensive players that have come up with Tyson and, and Bruce when he was here. Um, it's such a short turnaround, but, I mean, how valuable are just those veteran voices, guys that have been to the – the top of the mountain and just being around the young guys, how, how important Yeah, it is cool. It is having, good having those guys around. I mean, Zach is another one. Like you said, he's he's won a Super Bowl. And um, having him around for games like this and being able to uh, know that the moment isn't too big for a guy like that and being able to have guys see that on the field every day is, is fun. Hey, Jared, when Dan was in here, he was asked what your superpower is, and he rattled off a lot of things, one including resiliency and just ability to stay in the moment and be calm. Do you see any superpowers in your head coach? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. I mean, again, I could probably go for a little while here, but um, obviously uh, I, I think the number one thing that I think about with him is his emotional intelligence, how well he can read the room and know people. And that's, you know, maybe characteristic number one of being a leader and, and why he is so good at that. But he knows when to push, when to pull, when to tell you he needs a little bit more from you, when to love you up. Um, he, he, he's got uh, such a great feel for all that, which is why he's so special. Was that from day one with you? Do you feel like that was one of the reasons that really you locked in so quickly with this organization? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think, you know, not just me, we all respect him because he tells us how it is. And he's sat in our seats before and um, understands on day 15 of training camp that we're tired and it's it's hard. And, you know, he, we know he gets it, but at the same time, he's going to push us. And when a guy that, you know, knows it is still pushing you you kind of trust that a bit more and uh yeah it's it's a good uh it's a good way to be as a head coach and it helps us i know this week isn't about you going back to the bay we sort of covered that storyline the other day but what do you make of like the cosmic forces that work like you know play the rams and now you get to go home and just it seems like this better run is tailored for you in some ways um, yeah they're the, they're the one seed and that's who's up next i don't think it has anything to do with me but um yeah we'll, we'll, it'll be fun it's it's exciting um and yeah, it's it's cool for me to go back home, but at the same time, it's a it'll be a tough game. What are the similarities or differences from when you were in this position before at the Rams going into this game? Uh, yeah, a lot of similarities on the road. Um, certainly, will be the similarity of that one. Um, you know, it's a good team. Uh, it'll be a tough matchup, regardless of how the game goes. It'll be a four quarter game. Um, yeah, as far as the ins and outs of the team, not much. But um, yeah, I think it's certainly being a road play, uh, NFC Championship game. We're unfamiliar with this territory uh, here. So do you have to hold off on your offensive lineman gifts during the playoff run, and does there compounding interest in, in this at all? Gifts? Yeah. They got their gifts at Christmas. Oh, so that's smart. Yeah, you do it when uh, this you know, before the season extends. But those guys, I'll, I'll make sure they're well taken care of. You don't have to get like, a second one for a playoff. No, I may have to. That's a good idea. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> What is it about your personality that, I mean, I think it's sort of pretty well known, but like, you know, you go to Cal and they were you know, one of the worst teams at the time, it was probably yeah. 10 or 12, and not that you could pick, but the Rams, same thing, and, and the Lions when you came here, that sort of has, has been able to lift those situations up. Because... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think um, it's uh, all, all three of those situations has been very, very much about the people that were there. Um, certainly, I had, I had a hand in it, but. Um, for me, you know, I, I've always had a lot of pride in trying to be the same guy every day. And whether it's hard, whether it's great, whether it's fun, whether it's not, um, how do you show up every day and be that same guy? And I think that certainly helped me get through it. And, and maybe it's rubbed off on some other guys along the way. Um, but yeah, that and uh, optimism.
it, it, you know, eternal optimism. Just you're always, uh, always knowing, thinking uh, the best situation. No. Both my parents went there. It was one of three scholarship offers, and uh, there, it's the number one public school in the world. So, <laughs> made it pretty easy. Was there something about the way you were raised, Jared, that the optimistic um, viewpoint of the world? No, I don't know. Uh, I had great parents, so that probably has something to do with it. But um, I can't point to any one thing they pointed out to me. I, I think I've talked about this in the past, but my dad played professionally and um, always just preached, have fun, enjoy it. Um, it doesn't last forever. And uh, that's that's certainly carried me through a lot of the hard times. What, uh, last one. Um, what steps do you take to mentally prepare for a game like this? Same thing they do every week. Uh, no, no different. Um, Get, you know, Monday, Wednesday through Friday, do the game plan and study it up and get ready to go.